We hit another one of the newest, hardest trails in Johnson Valley called Money Shot, a trail that was so hard that my buggy tried to quit before we even left. This trail was filled with some massive and untamed boulders with epic obstacles throughout the trail, making it one of the more challenging trails I've ever done to date. But the real kicker is at the end where we had to exit a 200 foot plus loose hill climb that had me scared out of my freaking mind. I don't like this, Jeremy, at all. I don't either. Howdy, howdy, it's day two, Memorial Day weekend. We're out here doing the Laser Town experience at the Hammers, and we are gonna go do Money Shot. Money Shot's also a new trail that's only been ran a handful of times. So we get to go do that, and we're gonna go give you a full play-by-play -play and show you what that trail is about. We're also gonna give you a location so you can come out here and run it yourself. Well, we were gonna get rowdy, but of course, I had a relay issue. I started to leave, my motor started overheating. It's because my fan wasn't turning on. So we're gonna go ahead and put a pause on that rowdy and I'm gonna get this wired up. And uh, yeah, always feels good to be the guy that stalls everybody out at camp, but that happens with us all every once in a while. You coming to save the day for us? I hope so. <laughs> hey Jeremy. Yeah. What 90s fan are you, were you with? Blank 182? Yeah, yeah. Just like that, we got a nice little rock crawler hokey fix. It was great. Nothing short of a good old trail fix, and just like that, we're back on our way to Money Shot. This trail was originally broke by Brad Jensen, who had Jeremy Reese and Robbie Thiel along with him. This is another one of those newest, hardest trails in the area, and these guys put in work for other rock crawlers to go enjoy them as well. That being said, here's a direct route to get you to the beginning of the trail. Link will be in the description, where you can instantly download it straight to your Onyx Maps. This video was made possible by Lasernut, Juicy Whips, and RMI Reese Mechanical Inc. All right, we finally made it to Money Shot after waiting for me all morning. So this is another one of those trails that they've only ran a handful of times, so it's gonna be really cool to come out here, show you what it looks like. Again, we will drop pins and show you how to get here so you can run it yourself. I'm curious as to what the other guys think about waiting on me all morning. It happens. <laughs> Waiting on Bronson? What? <laughs> no, it was good. Shit happened. That's why we start at seven in the morning, so we can uh, <laughs> make sure we get everything working. And we're here at Money Shot, uh, new trail. Brad Jensen. Yep. He actually got through the trail first and named it Money Shot. Money Shot. Yep. So it's a it's a fun, quick, um, multi-line trail. And then it has a pretty fun exit. Yeah, I think this trail's only been ran. This will probably be the fourth time ever, so. Yep, so that's like you guys are going to be the fifth people to go up this trail with us. So this is going to be pretty rad. Again, we're going to drop everything so you guys can come out and check it out yourselves. So watch this, get pumped, get out here. Let's go. You know what they say, poop runs downhill. Well, so does trash. Jess is already on it, picking up some trash that washes its way from someone who tossed their crap from the top of the mountain. From the weather and storms, it somehow found its way to the bottom of this trail. Do Red Gear a favor. If you find trash on the trail, pick it up. If you don't, no one else will. Jeremy, what are you doing climbing up the rocks? Making sure you know the way? I know the way. Sick. <laughs> so on these trails, since they've only ran me a few times, it's not like you can see where anyone's gone because there's no sign of any tracks. So you just gotta kind of make sure. And Jeremy's up there leading the way. He's one of the original guys that broke this trail. So he's gonna figure it out again and this is sick. Right out of the gate, the trail throws you into a massive boulder garden, but with how massive these rocks are, it's more like a boulder forest. When a trail like this is new, there's little to no clues as to where the correct path is, and that's exactly why we have the exact trail map up on the screen, linked down in the description. That way you can instantly download the trail onto your Onyx maps and confidently navigate through this trail. Money Shot is 530 yards in distance and 348 feet in elevation gain. It's rated a 13 and should only be ran by experienced drivers with highly capable buggies. I just have to say that these guys are phenomenal drivers and it's really been such an honor to drive and ride and trail with them and have us out here. It's been super cool and we're super grateful. Don't be a trash 
control. You heard it here. The further you get into the trail, the bigger and bigger the rocks get. Working your way through boulders this size is very technical. Unlike a waterfall, you may be climbing with one tire and the other side might be dropping in a hole. You really have to focus on tire placement. If you fall off the line, you can get yourself diffed or even worse, get double diffed. We are on the big obstacle on Money Shot, and as you can see, it's called Money Shot because uh, you got one shot there, and if not, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. It's a tricky obstacle. I mean, you come in and you go, yeah, we'll just go right up there and we've tried it, but you really have to ride that right rock and, and really send it in with the rear. It's a real awkward feeling, but it's good that his, he has a tank top on so he stays cool <laughs> and shows off his cool tattoos. I don't have a tank top or cool tattoos, so I'm gonna have to work twice as hard to make it up this. The first part of the main money shot obstacle is a medium-sized waterfall with a huge undercut and a dirty little hole right in the middle of it. The trick is to keep your rear passenger side on the rocks to the right of the hole, driving up the undercut without falling into the hole. The second part is a straight vertical waterfall. And if that's not bad enough, the boulders on the right side of the obstacle completely pin your rear passenger tire from climbing. So you have to get your passenger side tire on top of the boulders as you climb the waterfall, causing you to ride the line of rolling backwards or rolling on your side. Staying calm and focusing on keeping your tires in the right spot is the key to making this obstacle. That was so cool. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos if you think uh, little, little. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos if you think they're neat and leave a dirty little comment. As Cody and Craig make their way through the hardest obstacle in Money Shot, I couldn't help but appreciate the flow of how well we work together getting through this gnarly trail. Finding rigs and drivers that are around your level of wheeling is huge, but the key to making it through the hardest trails is finding people you trust to push your limits to make you a better driver, but won't push you too far to where you wreck your rig and have a bad day. But if that bad day comes, they'll be there to get you off the trail. This is what wheeling at any level is about. Having fun, getting outside of your comfort zone, and accomplishing challenges. To some, this trail looks like a rugged desert wasteland. To us, we find the beauty and opportunity in this rough, rugged, dangerous terrain, knowing that most population will never get the chance to find this kind of beauty. A view looks 10 times better from the top, knowing the challenges it took to get there. We got Jeremy, Bronson, Craig, and Cody. Super solid lineup. Yay! Today has been brought to you by Relay Failures on the Trail.
cause excessive heat. Trail update. It appears to be that there was a loose wire underneath the seat by the battery. We found it. We're gonna get that done. And we're gonna finish this trail. We're almost to the end. We're nearing the end of the trail. We're not quite there yet. But as we're out here getting everyone through, I can't help but just sit and reflect on how cool it is. I've only met these guys online or through just by passing at events. I've never wheeled with these guys, never spent time with these guys. And the camaraderie and the instant just wheeling and gelling together, that happens so much in the wheeling community and I can't say it enough. Go find good people to wheel with or go get a rig and you will find good people to wheel with. We pretty much finished the trail and all we had left was the exit. Little did I know this would be the sketchiest thing that I've ever done. The exit is a 200 foot hill climb with loose gravel, rock, and boulders. Once we navigate through that to top it all off, there's a super sketchy loose boulder garden right before the exit. While I'm low key freaking out trying to get up the mountain without sliding or tumbling off, I figured now would be the best time to show you the exit. Once you're at the top of the mountain, you'll cross over to the other side and go down a trail called Rusty Love. It's a pretty good trail, especially going down it. The map on the screen, just like the other two maps, will have a link in the description that will instantly download it to your Onyx maps to easily find your way back from the trail. As I bank the other direction, you can see my rig ever so slightly slide. And at this point, I had a really good view of how far it was to the bottom and just how big the consequences are. It was at this point, Jess told me, you're done, park it. And she was getting out. The nerves just kept building as I could see Cody way below me and Jeremy way ahead of me as I gave him some space to work his way out and to avoid any falling boulders that could potentially come down behind him. Usually the nerves stop as you feel better when you're at the top. This is the first time I still felt nervous knowing the guy behind me still has to make it. I was so nervous I kept my helmet on just to watch Cody make it through the exit.
I've ever driven, ever. And then it's coming into, you're like, you're like a, a two feet forward and you're like two feet yeah, back. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> and it's like, is this hill just gonna take me wherever it wants to? And next thing you know, oh. I'm sideways on it. Jeez, sketchy. Money! I don't know react. I love it, it was like, this doesn't feel good, Jeremy! <laughs> I'm not having fun right now. <laughs> this is not good. What do you think about that? Was that just normal day in Cody's life? Uh, well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love getting scared. I love having new people in my car. Nino's ran a, ran a couple times. If you need any grading, he's your man in the <laughs> local Johnson Valley area. But um, it's good to get the adrenaline going, you know? I mean, that's pretty much my high in life is getting the adrenaline going. You know, I don't, I keep away from all the other stuff, kids. Do the adrenaline high, you know, just don't kill yourself. This is my fifth or sixth time wheeling with Cody and and I'm just, I, I get blown away every time of, you know, what goes through your guys' heads for lines and there's just so much stuff going on inside the car too. You know, it's awesome. It's it's neat on how much your heart can pound and, and you're going half a mile, one mile an hour, you know, it's in, it's intense. You're not wrong and they literally just came up this. Ugh, doesn't look good. It does not look any better at the top. It's pretty sketchy still. I'm just glad we're up here and not down there. And what makes it so sketchy is, you know, if you do the, the sandstone stuff, there's a lot of traction and you don't slip. With this loose rock, all the rocks in Johnson Valley move, the big boulders move, everything moves, and it just, adds to the the difficulty of it and, and what's cool also about this is like just take these four different buggies i mean we have a, a, a newer newer built buggy with portals and rear steer and all the latest and greatest technology and yeah, but there's four different chassis makers we have from an old school buggy that was built almost 20 years ago killing it out here in johnson valley yeah <laughs> and, and you know what's tough is when the helmet goes on so another one kids keep the helmet on if you if you need it this trail had one of the most had this this trail had the scariest obstacle I've ever done in my life and it wasn't because it was very hard it was because it was loose sketchy and the roll off this hill would not end well this got me freaking going I was scared you know what and uh, you know it's awesome to come out here I, I literally the first time wheeling with all these guys and they spot me great, they took care of me. The camaraderie of wheeling out here and wheeling with good people is just second to none. So, hope you guys enjoyed this trail. I didn't die. Sponsored in part by BF Goodrich Tires, Warren Industries, KC Highlights, and Axle Off-Road Helmets. Best way to support this channel is give that subscribe button a little skiddly do, diddle that notification bell, give this video the fat finger, and leave a dirty little comment below. Rec Gear now has merch and buggy accessories at RecGear.com, so don't forget to go spend that money that mama don't know about. As always, thanks for watching.